そうだったんですかここで皆さんは七夕祭りの準備をしてらっしゃるんですねメグルチャンス looking around the classroom with great interest She apparently got lost when she came to Fenterica Yeah, the school is pointlessly huge. I can see how you'd get lost. 昨日は校門からお出迎えしてもらえたので、はっきりと覚えてなくて。気候にも周りに人がいなくて、困り果ててた時に先輩がって感じです。ほんと助かっちゃいました。Yeah, I'm glad you happened to walk by. There aren't really that many people here in the building with a special classrooms. 私って方向音痴みたいで。昔はお姉ちゃんや両親によく心配をかけました。初めてのところへ行くときはかなり余裕を持って向かうことにしてるんです。ねえ、この子誰どっかで見たことあるんだけどな。私も見た気がするのよね。つい最近。どことなく、鳴沢さんに似てる She's her little sister. ご挨拶が遅くなりました。お姉ちゃん<笑>ナルサワリッカの妹のナルサワメグルですよろしくお願いします She gives a proper bow. リッカの妹あピアニストの商店街の CD ショップのポスターの人だ有名人<笑>お恥ずかしいです The others all introduce themselves and we all immediately stop caring about work. It's probably just as much because of Meguru chan's personality as it is because she's a friend's sibling. Yukimura, don't be rude. <laughs> anyway, Meguru chan, Rika's busy today, so I don't think you'll be able to see her. You didn't know? So that done this car. Yakusoko s t e n a k a t a n o d e What does she got an eye money? Katani Anikita d a k e d e s h She slumps down. Rika is probably in the middle of a meeting right now. Hmm, I'd feel kinda bad to have her go home like this. Hey guys, do you mind if I duck out for about an hour? I'm thinking of giving Meguru chan a tour of the school. So, Dane, in the night, Kana. Totemo eto, my mas. Kotira wa watakusta de smete okimasne. Koshi, moto tsukura. Okay, thank you very much. Are you free, Meguru chan? Arimaskedo. でも、ご迷惑じゃないですか Well, you're already here, and I also want you to learn more about the school Rika and all of us go to. <laughs> はい、ご案内よろしくお願いします We were in the special classrooms building earlier, and this is the building where we normally have classes. 学園に上がっても、教室の雰囲気ってあまり変わらないんですね。You moved overseas before you got to go to a Japanese high school, didn't you? Hi, Tachu de Gako Yamete, Sonoma, Australia. Scotian Ida, Lukono Sensei, and Shijiste, Imawa, Zaretsberko, Kyoteni, Katsudo Stemas. It's amazing that you're doing so much at your age. So the Marimoseo, Pari no Honga Queen Nanka, Watashori, Zetto Toshista no Koga Ryuga Stemas. Huh. でもそのせいでお姉ちゃんには申し訳ないことをしちゃって。She sounds like she's talking to herself, but I could hear what she said clearly. 次、案内してもらってもいいですか ?Oh, sure, let's go.I guide Meguru chan through as many interesting spots in our school as I can in the time I have.She sounded interested in anything and everything I had to say about every spot I took her to. This is the inner courtyard. There's no one here because it's summer break, but it's usually filled with people eating lunch during lunch break. We always eat in one of the music classrooms. 
Rika doesn't really seem to like places with a lot of people and I feel more relaxed when it's just us two anyway. No, come on, we don't do anything at school. Uh, uh. Crap, I'm just disclosing it all myself at this point. She brings her face up to my neck and sniffs. She sniffs the same way Rika does. I feel like a suspect being interrogated by the police. A cold sweat drips down my spine. Uh, uh. She is not so young that I could just tell her we were playing around while lying in bed. Meguru chan's already well aware of what it means for me to be in her bed. Which means that if she knows what I've done, then that means Rika's younger sister would know what Rika's been doing. I'm sorry about this, Rika. Yes, I stayed over. I'm sorry. Who isn't? I do not have any words with which I can defend myself. All I can do is bow my head and apologize before her glare. It happened again. Meguru-chan's sad expression looks just like Rika's one from yesterday. I think Meguru-chan must be what's on Rika's mind. Something must have happened since they reunited. No, that seemed like it was something deeper. Did something happen between you and Rika? She's been acting weird since yesterday. How do you know that for sure? I do. But I won't ask you. Rika said she wanted to think about it for a bit, so I'm going to wait until she talks to me. Wouldn't be fair if I heard about it from you first, right? She will. She's changed. Though I guess if she doesn't end up telling me, then that just means I'm not a dependable enough boyfriend. If that happens, I'll try my best to change things around so she'll talk to me about it. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to hear that right to my face, but yeah, I do. Meguru-chan. Okay, I will. But girls shouldn't say that they do anything just like that, okay? そうですね。ありがとうございます。あ、もうそろそろ時間ですね。最後に音楽室に案内してもらえませんか? <laughs> <Meguru> <laughs> the music classroom's empty. The light of sunset illuminates the covered piano. It's not covered. Just stop with that already. 
いつもここでお姉ちゃんが弾いてるんですよね。I think she pretty much played here every day since I transferred in. Meguru-chan folds back the piano's cover and opens the lid over the keys. She lightly presses a white key with her index finger. Is it? This is just the extra classroom that's used when the first music classroom's full, so people don't come here that much. Is Rika tuning this piano? Meguru-chan strokes the keys affectionately, props the lid of the piano up, and sits at the bench. Piano no to te, just to kotto de zre te itchay mas kara, kekko mame ni te ire shite agenai to, sugu ni dame ni naru ndes. I didn't know it was such a delicate instrument. I had no idea. I've only ever seen Rika actually playing the piano, not maintaining it. So, Nanda. She's not talking to herself. It's like she's having a conversation with a piano, like she's having a conversation with Rika through the piano. And for that, one needs no words, but. Meguru-chan takes a single set of deep breaths to calm herself and then places her fingers on the keys. <laughs> She assembles individual sounds into a single coherent stream. It's a fragment of emotion. This piece is recorded on Meguru-chan's album. I know I've heard her performance of it before, but it's completely different. So this is a professional performance, Meguru-chan's performance. I shiver. The impact of the moment pierces through me. It's like back when I heard Erika's performance for the first time. A dense, rumbling wall of sound that seems like it could reverberate all the way to my core. It overtakes and dominates the room. And yet the sound's delicate and light, as if it were flying through the open sky, but I can sense a burning hot core within it. Listening to it live, I can tell. It sounds similar to Rika's piano playing, but it's definitely different. It isn't a matter of who is superior or inferior. It's more like the difference between their respective paths, their differences as individuals. Rika and Meguru-chan's sounds are. Meguru-chan's performance strikes a chord in my heart, and I find myself imagining it overlaid onto Rika's sound. It's Friday, July twenty-fifth. It's gotten pretty late, so maybe we should wrap things up here for today. The floor is covered in wires and scraps of paper. It's the remnants from us cutting the stars out of them. We tried placing light bulbs inside the paper stars and turned them on today. They lit up properly on the outside. The paper didn't get hot or anything when we left them on for a while, so there shouldn't be any chance of it being a fire hazard. All that's left to do is to just keep doing more of what we've already been doing. We can't breathe easy just yet, though. We'll still have to do some final fine tuning, and there's a chance we've missed something so far. But that's no reason for us to risk making mistakes by rushing things. Let's keep moving at a good, steady pace. So then, eh? Yes, it seems like the concert team also has their hands full. 
I walk to school with Rika today too, and we are keeping in touch via our phones. She is the same as usual when she is talking with me, but she occasionally just stares off into the distance, lost in thought. But she still hasn't said anything to me. I've tried asking Ishizuka-san about things, but it doesn't seem like she's come to any kind of decision about playing together with Meguru-chan. I'm getting worried. It's been a while now. I want to wait until Rika decides to talk to me about it if possible. But there's a limit to how long I can hold off my worry. Maybe I should ask her about it indirectly sometime soon, when the opportunity arises. Thanks! Later! Oh, I say my goodbyes to Shuichi in the committee room and leave. The concert team apparently finished their work a little earlier and I was told that Rika had already left. Wonder if we just missed each other or something. She isn't answering my messages and she won't pick up when I call her. I can't really imagine she just go home without telling me. It's become a habit for us to go home together and we always let each other know if we can for some reason. Guess her look around school. I see her jet black hair in a room dyed with orange. Her fingers occasionally press onto the keys. I figured she'd be here. Once I decided to look for her, I just walked directly to this room. I was sure that if I didn't find her here, then I'd have a hell of a time finding her elsewhere. She's like a child, meaninglessly pressing down on the keys of a toy piano. There is no emotion in the notes, all she is doing is producing sound. She eventually places both hands in her lap and stops playing altogether. The last one was a LA, did I get it right? Ryosuke. Been looking for you, you haven't been answering your phone. It's fine, thinking about something. Hmm? That's when I finally understand what she's talking about. And what's lurking inside Harika. It's envy toward Meguru-chan. It's a feeling of inferiority compared to Meguru-chan. So you heard Meguru-chan's playing the day before yesterday? うん。こうじゃに<笑> ピアノなのね。性別も年齢も人種も言葉の壁すらもたない。本物の音楽。聞く人の心に訴えかけ、癒すことのできるピアノ。あなたもそう思わなかった? I hesitate if it's okay for me to say what I'm about to say to her, the way she is now. But I'd never lie to her about something like this. It was good, really good. She says it numbly, but then smiles. Rick and I are walking home. We've come up to her apartment complex. No, it's fine. There's not that much to bring in anyway. Her smile's the same as always. It's the same as always, which is exactly why it seems forced to me. I don't know what happened between Rika and Meguru-chan in the past. But I can tell it has to do with the piano. I'm not good at music, in fact, I'm terrible at it. 
I have absolutely zero knowledge regarding the piano. I couldn't possibly play it. Could someone like me do anything to help, even if she did tell me what's on her mind? But there's no way I could just leave Rika like this. If I can't do anything now, then I want to become able to do something. And to do that, first I need to... Hey, Rika. She places her key into the slot in the intercom. The auto lock releases and the door opens. The hairs on my neck suddenly stand on end. A vision hangs before me of Rika being sucked into the darkness beyond that doorway, disappearing. Wait! I grab her hand to stop her. Am I not dependable? Do you think I won't be able to do anything? I want you to tell me what's been on your mind. I want to help you, even if I can't do anything for you, if talking about it could make things even the slightest bit easier for you, then I want to hear it. I'm sorry, I know you said you wanted to think about it on your own, but I just can't sit back and watch. Oh. I want to know everything about you, Rika, even the pointless boring stuff. But I wouldn't ever think of that as pointless or boring. Squeeze! Rika? She presses herself against me and wraps her arms around me desperately. I can feel her softness and smell her sweet, girly scent all over. A marriage swindler? I'm not trying to do that. I wouldn't say stuff like this to anyone other than you. Now that's just an awful thing to say. でも、あなたになら本当に騙されてしまってもいいと思うわ。私の心まで騙して全てをあなたで染めてほしい。あのね。私めぐるに she notices something. I turn around to where she is looking. Oh! Oh! I'm surprised too about Megudo chan's genuinely frantic. You don't have to do that. Why is she being so specific about her relaxation time? You don't need to do that either, okay? The two of us both feel awkward about what's happened, but Harika's calm and composed. She slowly pulls away from me as if it were only natural. Oh. 
she looks at me hesitantly. I don't mind. I was thinking of going home anyway, since there's apparently a hurricane coming. So you go to your Monday night, ma. Matane, Yosuke. Yeah, later. Meguru, Kaidi Masho. Senpai, Stray Shimas. Yeah, see you again, Meguru chan. I watch Rika as she walks into the apartment complex with Meguru chan. The elevator doors open, and Meguru chan waves at me after getting in. I wave back. The two of them disappear, and I sigh. It sounded like she was about to tell me too, 